we're going to be doing some upgrades to the printer and they are the pins mod so we're going to replace these two edge brackets so this whole mechanism this whole mechanism rebuild the front hot end the back AB motors so we've got the front pins XY gantry so it's an MDM 12 one the Ulysses probe so I might be using this one instead the back AB motors with the pins so we've got them already I've already done the upgrade on it with the uh, E5E's and I put double washers in there because I just liked it more but what I find is when the power goes out there's so much uh, weight at the back that it just falls down which is good because it means there's no tension in my frame and I almost forgot another thing that I want to get using is my carbon fiber XY this is a solid one so I've got to be doing some drilling and some cutting so this is going to require a lot of work to get that accurate the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to disconnect all the cables from here and then disconnect here and undo the bolt here and then the cable run here and this and that way all the cables can flop to the middle then I'll undo the belts on the top and bottom of all sides and then I'll be able to tilt out the XY mechanism and wow this is going to take me a couple of days some little snap latch clips and they are fantastic for putting on the panels but I did leave the panels with one side of hinges I am going to remove these hinges so the panels are just clip on and clip off because it makes it so easy to work whoops so we've got all the belts on all four sides disconnected we just got to remove the lower belt and we've got all the power cables decoupled from the gantry and it should tip out you can really see how good the G5E connection is I'm very impressed with it. That is just like butter smooth. You can see that it's just a ball bearing in a um, in a washer thing, and it's very good. It does hurt a bit to see the printer in this state, <laughs> but let's get it out. What I'm going to pull the hot end off, and then I'm going to take the back bits off, and then I'll rebuild the x-axis. My probe, I have had caption tape and a whole heap of layers on it but it has finally melted. So I've noticed on every build, on a single MGN9, on a dual MGN9, after a while, you end up with a bit of slop in the system. And I'm just, that's part of the reason I'm doing this is because I don't like this slop. Okay, this is next level difficult getting these pins in because the bottom pin is thick enough that you can have, but the top pin is very thin. I can't do the technique where you put one in this way and one in this way, it just doesn't work. And then the pin slides is very stiff. So we've had great progress, we've got the pins in the right motor and then this is not very well printed, that's my bad. And So the old dual MGM9 without the hot end on, we're looking at 800 grams, that is very heavy. And then if we add the hot end, we're about 1 point two four one so one point two five kilos a cheap chinese mgm12 is 300 grams plus the carbon fiber rod brings it to 370 plus the hot end 800 and i've still got to add the end pins and i've got to add a few screws so it's about the same weight Let's do some weights. Single MGM9, 164 grams. Two of them weigh 326. MGM12, 308. Carbon fiber, 51 grams. This one's got all the pins in it, so this is an idea. Interesting to note that the standard 20x20 20 20 rail for the x-axis is 205 grams. And then you end up having another 70 grams of T-nuts. So we've got our carbon fiber rail with our MGM-12 attached on. And it was a real pain getting 
the screws inside I made this little jig that I was able to hold onto these little brackets and then feed them in. It would have been better to print a plastic sleeve and then have it on that I've seen a few people do or better yet buy the rail that's pre-milled. Carbon fibre cuts and files really well and makes a very fine black dust. So I've got my carbon fibre end and I've got my half rebuilt hot end on and I've got the belts in sync. The only issue is the chain. I'm not sure how I'm going to mount it in there because I didn't want to cut another hole. So. so it's taken me about six hours to get this all back together and all we've got to do is connect that hot end with all the cables and put the bed back on and give it a warm up. And my very sophisticated solution to the bit of double sided tape works quite effective. We're doing our first 5x5 five five bed mesh, so I'm excited to see what this is going to come out like. And I've noticed that my probe is sitting lower than my hot end for some reason, so I've got to look into that. Probably just the way I mounted it. Last one. What the fuck is that? So apparently everyone knows that the probes don't fit in the MGM 12 rails so what I did was just use my trusty hacksaw and cut the top off and then at the same time because we need to bring it up higher it, I filed it flat so what we've got now is we've got the MGM 12 standard rail and we've filed the holes so they go a little bit taller we've chopped off the top of the probe so hopefully bit more clearance and that definitely has. Now I just got to figure out how I'm going to put these bolts through here to hold it. Okay I've been filing the actual probe now and you can just see I've made it a little bit wider on one side so the screw can sit a bit lower. Let's see how this fits. I'm just going to try putting one heat set nut on the left hand side and see how that goes. I actually really like how that fits. So, I am going to do the other side, and I reckon that's going to give me just enough clearance for a temporary fix. I don't have the before measurement, but it's looking pretty good to what it was. So, I'm going to drop it in and see if it fits. It's definitely higher. So, fantastic news. The probe is now sitting a lot higher. I'm really pleased that the probe now sits well higher of the nozzle. I've almost got it too high. Well, fantastic news. The printer is working great with this MGN12 rail and with the probe sitting up high, haven't had any issues. My bed has inversed. It's gone from a fruit bowl to a horse saddle. I don't understand why. And we're still gonna get to that. Still waiting for my Ulysses probe to come in the mail. And then that'll be the next update with some Nevermore but this has been a successful upgrade and I'm pretty happy with it.